look around the league at some of the high scoring, playering, leaguing leaders, uh, all of that business. Yeah, and it's uh, Paper Water Event Horizon is actually rated the top player in the league. It's a new stat. They kind of add up a whole bunch of stuff and go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Just ahead of Emmental Helmet and, uh, and Daphne Teflon. Um, when it comes to batting average, it's Kojak, who is the top of the, uh, sh the tree there, ahead of Adrian Shoehorn and Furious Spongebath. Home runs, Emmental Helmet stands alone with seven. But, uh, I mean, Papal had a three-home run game. I mean, that's, you know, that's not... That's not out of the ordinary. Um, uh, on base percentage, Adrian Shoehorn again. Uh, Pip Strobe like gets a mention. I'm, I'm kind of skipping over my players because I've mentioned them all the time. Uh, who else have we got going on? Slugging percentage, Felipe Flexin is getting it done. Um, and uh, on base plus slugging is uh, is top of the mountain. Um, for hits, it's all bulldozer power all day. But Jack Snaggles and Adrian Shoehorn sneak in there a little bit as well. Extra base hits, it's Felipe Flexin uh, for. Number of times struck out. MSJN is the uh, is the big dog there uh, for being struck out ahead of Sonny Watt and Eric C Ape. Uh, more batting. Here's some runs scored. Yeah, that's us. But then when we when we decide to score runs, we score quite a few of them. Uh, there you go. Uh, but for stolen bases, not to mention not a one. Uh, Bandit Joe, Mina Failure, Tremaine Jazz Hammock, and uh, Brash Witness. There, the, your top four for stolen bases. Uh, but then uh, being caught stealing, uh, Laura Lugubrious, uh, Mighty Buffon, Dave Caustic, Leon Ham, Brad Commissar and Pickles, Dill Herfer. Uh, let's look at the pitchers. Uh, for wins, well, it, at this stage of the season, it comes down to how many games you've played uh, and then won subsequently. Uh, and it's Father Tempest for the whatever to Colonel School. Flipping it, Father Tempest to Colonel School is, uh, is the big dog. Uh, Dante Intestines, Wonder Half Elf. Jeff Conservative and Brandy Fever are one game behind. Uh, earned run average. There you go. There's some people. Uh, Jeff with Boats. Uh, Carol Flourish and Olga Delirium, your top three. And uh, and for saves, both Conservative and Disneyland get a mention. Uh, carrying on. Uh, whip. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, and the opponent batting average. Mr. Smithers allows the fewest hits. And uh, Jerk Cortex, Olga Delirium, Neil Murph. Uh, are also there as well. And for strikeouts, it's uh, Savvy Cromulent, Dr. Good Surger, and Saturn Mist, who are all great. Oh, there's, there's more, look. There's uh, some strikeouts. Yeah, yeah, number of strikeouts per nine innings pitched. Gary Rubber, Jerry Goals, and Chet Vacant. Ah, oh, Chet, why did you leave us? It's possibly because I traded him. Um, good, yeah, and then you got walks and you got strikeouts. Well, Jeff's never pitched a walk. Neither was Viv, for that matter. That's solid work from them. So there you go. That's the stats. Let's go to the game. Well, it's another home game for us, and we're taking on the Wretched Minstrels. Um, we're leaving Kojak out of the lineup for one more week so she can fully recover. Uh, meanwhile, Hatchet Malibu is out. Crampons is in. And, uh, and our pitcher for the day is uh, Vivian Crumble. Uh, we'll be facing Hippie Impact Jesse Flail. And Lazarus Recoil first. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, let's see if we can't uh, follow up on last week's slam dunk of a win uh, and uh, and pull off something glorious here. Uh, we'll start with one of those. Yeah, below there, Viv. Now, we were big upping our, uh, our, uh, our less common uh, uh, walks uh, previously. So let's, let's keep that up, shall we? I'm going to just chuck a bit of everything at this. There you go, Cindy. Oh, I couldn't quite get to it. That was a nice hit. Um, Zoltan will chuck it a second, and uh, they've got someone on base. Ah. Here's Jesse Flail. He's batting 361 this season. Uh, I think he got a mention in the stats just now, but to be honest, I, I forgot those the second I said them. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. That's ball one. Uh, Viv not quite finding her, uh, her chuck yet. Oh, crumbs. That's gone a long way, but failure's got it. No, he hasn't. Oh, brilliant. What a failure, you big joke. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's given up two bases there, and that's that's undesirable. Here's Lazarus Recoil. Uh, runners now, second and third. Uh, he's got four home runs this season. This could be uh, this could be a, a problem, couldn't it? Viv, how do you fancy, you know... There you go. That's a ticket. Try him on another one. See if he... Uh, no, he's, he's, not, he's not biting on a pitch that's clearly awful. That one's gone high. Uh, Viv is, is not. The pitching is not going well. Just put it on target, would you? 
Strike two. Okay, right now. Go on. There we go. This time. Try him on a change up. Well, he did. He got spongy, 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 spongy into the crowd. Oh, almost had it. Could have had it. Didn't have it. All right. Okay. All right. A good curveball, please. Oh, dear. That's off target. Giving up a walk. Oh, no. And the bases are loaded. Here in the first with no outs. Nigel Prison next up to bat. Uh, he's the catcher. And, uh, and Viv Crumble is looking, well, I mean, shaky is uh, is probably the best way to go. They're going to sacrifice uh, a run here. And uh, and once again, failure there. Completely failing everything. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I, everything's off target. That one's gone foul as well, which is a mercy. All right, two down. Come on, let's get him at the plate, please. There we go. Viv Crumble there with a strikeout. That's good. He didn't even swing. Ah, ha, ha. Here's Brock Talk. Uh, so bases are loaded. And, uh, and and Viv is going to need to dig deep and pitch properly. That one's gone well. Oh, it's not gone that well, though. Oh, no. We're not going to get anybody there. No. Then that's a run. Oh, phooey. Uh, here's Helmet Cenobites. And, uh, I mean, he's not he's not played that much. He's batting 500. Uh, but uh, I don't know, he, he strike one. See, ah, ha, ha, that was a that was a cunning inside. Yeah. No, the pitching is rotten. Um, okay, all right. And Viv's not that bad a pitcher, right? Viv, Viv, you're not that bad a pitcher, right? Yeah, your accuracy's fine, and and all of those things. Uh, well, that's soft. Crampons? No, he dives. Oh, we're going to give up two, possibly three here. Um, that's that's un that's ungood. No. Uh, Cindy husses it down at the the catcher, and uh, and we're now we're now trailing four runs in the first. Hit. <laughs> Goodness me! Um, all right, okay, one out. There you go. Let's let's look at the bit. No, no, that's wrong too. Uh, let's look at a bit of the cloud that is uh, sort of silver. That one's gone to Cindy. She'll throw the first, and uh, that's out number two. That's that's called baseball. Here's Brett Commissar. All right, okay. They've got a got a runner on third. And that one's gone straight to McGurk, who catches it. Okay, well, um, mm, yeah, no. Look, uh, no. Here's Cindy Vapid. She's only had one home run this this season, Cindy. She's she's, she's got the power to do it, but uh, but doesn't uh, doesn't seem to do it very often. Oh, that was a good bit of fielding by Recoil. Cindy was denied uh, a base hit there. No, oh no. Uh, this is Big Rod McGurk. Uh, he might stand his ground a little longer. Strike one. Come on, Rod. That's ball two. Come on. Pitched it. No, there was a, a little swift on the uh, on the hit there. Ball three. That's a full count. Big Rod sends one into the air, and he's going to land like that. He's gone. All right. Okay, well, here's Ulysses' failure. Two home runs for him this year. Goes for that. He's going to be out. Okay, right. Well, uh, the philosophy of if you're going to have an innings that stinks, you might as well get it, you know, stunk pretty quickly. Here's the pitcher, Florenz Bastille. Uh, let's just... We don't need to do anything complicated here. Just pretty much throw him down the middle and he'll be out. Oh, no. Um, uh, Daviv's pitching is... Uh, is a little shambolic. That one's gone to crampons. He'll chuck it to first. I'll tell you, that pitcher had got some pace on him. Uh, but he's out anyway. His hippie impact. Uh, one out for uh, for the minstrels. McGurk! No. <laughs> no, no, he got, he got quite a good shout there. But uh, no, he just threw himself on the floor. Here's Jesse Flail. Got himself a double last time and set the team up. Uh, for a, uh, a pretty perilous state of affairs. Not safe. Not safe. I mean, if I'd thrown the ball a little bit harder, it might have got somewhere, but that was a steal. Strike one. All right, okay. Get in a swing at this, would you? Well, like, if it had been on target, there was a there was the potential. Strike two. All right, Viv, come on, Viv. Come on, Viv. We believe in you. Oh, I don't know where that was supposed to go. Oh, but it worked. Okay, strikeouts. Uh, Jesse Flail can go and sit himself down. Here's Lazarus Recoil. He got a walk last time. He's not having one this time. No. Oh! Ah! 
Oh, Viv. Oh, oh, Viv. Viv, are you okay? Viv. Talk to me, Viv. Viv. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, no. Viv is... Uh, she's she's done for. Okay. All right. Well, it's, a, it's an early substitution, and you have to say... It's probably probably not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, Conservative is not fully fit. Disneyland is uh, not in a good mood, so we're going to bring in Tulip Banter to start with because we might have to sit with uh, with her for a while. Oh dearie me! Um, and uh, and that is a, a turn up for the books that you don't want to turn up. There's the throw to second, and it's safe again. I stole it. Flipping! I mean, just we've got runners now, second and third. And uh, Tulip's going to have to get it done. She's going to. Good job. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, we, that, good salvation there, team. Okay. We've got, uh, we've got Sponge Bath up next. He bats 500, you know, Spongy. I mean, he sat down for a couple of weeks to give someone else a go. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he's a reliable hitter when he hits. When he doesn't hit, less reliable. That one, however, that's a, a good, solid bouncer. Uh, and that one will get him onto first base. Uh, next up, you've got Zoltan Zoltan. Uh, he's got 13 runs batted in this season. Uh, but that's probably a measure of where he is in the batting order. And that's ball one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a nice one, is it, though? No. That's out. Oh, unlucky, Zoltan. Uh, that required... I'll tell you something. These these minstrels, they're, uh, they're fielding. And they're fielding pretty well. Uh, here's Steve Morey next up. He goes for it straight away. He's going to be caught. Oh, Steve. Yep. No, we swing for the fence on every play. Uh, but uh, that's that's inadvisable because we get caught quite a lot. Here's Papal Event Horizon, Hero of the Revolution. Uh, if he wouldn't mind uh, doing a bit of revolutionary heroing right now, that would probably be helpful. Here we go. Waiting for the pitch. Shouldn't have swung at that one. Uh, strike one. That one, however, was bad. And the team are out. And uh, at the end of two, uh, Bulldozer of Power trail four runs to nothing. Uh, here's Brock Talk. Got a single last time. Batted in a run. That one's gone high and foul. Yeah, no, we don't. Uh, that's no good. Uh, Chillip Banter is uh, is going to need to dig deep here. We're going to need a, a you know a good four or five innings out of her um, because uh, all of my relievers have been in action a fair bit of late. That one's gone foul as well. Right, Chillip, finish him off. Get him, get him gone. Would you? Just that. Perfect. That one's gone to McGurk, who, who catches it. Yeah, like a champ. Uh, here's Helmet Cenobite. Uh, a double with three runs batted in for him last time. Uh, he's obviously currently leading the uh, the star players of the day, but he's not he's not a star player this time. Spongy, get under it. Thank you. All right, slightly sluggish fielding, but we made it happen. Here's Fenella Value Pack. Uh, she was uh, out last time. Uh, that's not something you can say about many of the team. Uh, that one's gone high. Papal's looking for it, but it's gone. No, nope, that one's over the fence. Value pack there. Dinging it out of the park and sticking it into the the shrubbery that's going on there. And that's uh, that's now five runs to the minstrels. And uh, Bulldozer of Power need to need to figure something out. Um, how to suck less, I would suggest, would be uh, would be chief among the things to uh, to figure out. Ball one. And, yeah, come on, come on, chill it. We believe in you, Tulip. I mean, obviously we believe in you, otherwise I wouldn't have put you on the team. Well, I, mean, I, I didn't have much choice in terms of, of you actually getting to play. Go on, just, just throw it. That's it. That could work. Ball three. Full count now. Tulip, just put in something semi-reliable, please. That'll do. Good pitching. Goodbye. And Brad Commissar is uh, is going to go sit down there and... Uh, Bordeaux's power now with their, their third attempt to try and make a difference. Here he is off the bench, fan favourite Bernie Crampons. And he's uh, he's not got the greatest contact, but when he does make contact, sometimes it goes well. This time, um, not so much. Okay, Tulip, tell you what, just just ride it out for a minute, would you? Yeah, just there's no rush. 
Yeah, just, I mean, look, try and get a few pictures out of him, would you? I mean, that's two. Yeah, there you go, that's three. Good, come on, keep them coming. No, no, no. well, okay, chill up. you've done your bit. Um, but uh, you pop that one up, good and proper. That's out number two, Cindy, next up. Uh, we'll be hoping for something a little better than she managed last time around. And that, that isn't it. No, no, Cindy Vapid's gone. Three away, and uh, we're, we're in trouble. Uh, right, okay, it's the pitcher having another bat. Well, okay, well, let's, let's not humiliate ourselves here, Tulip. Just chuck him three sliders, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Or two sliders and a curve. Let's, let's try that on for size. Uh, okay, well, the pitcher got a piece of that. Uh, he hasn't... Uh, someone run for it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not wholly certain what's happened to the fielding. No, something is different. Yeah, the fielding is not normal. And uh, this is... No, this is a, a, a momentary character break of... Uh, no, it's, it's not just me. They've changed something. Something has changed. There you go. That's what you look for. See, when they start wafting their hands around the place, they're going, they go like, I've got it from here, Chief. That's what that means. Um, well, we just gave up another run. But normally, they'll, they'll do that as they start getting close. Now, maybe I'm just misreading the, uh, the hits that are coming in here, but I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I need to play better. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try that. That one's gone out to failure. Uh, or has it? Failure had a good, worthy jump there, but that's another home run given up, and, and Bulldozer of Power are really struggling. Um, they're down seven runs, and uh, that offensively, it doesn't look like they've got any reply. Uh, this is a... I don't think i changed the difficulty. If i changed the difficulty, that would be a reason. But I don't think I have. I'd remember that, surely. Uh, strike two. All right. Go on, get him gone. Steve, you fancy it? No, Steve doesn't fancy it. Steve fancies a pie. All right, go on. Okay, all right, that's two outs. Lazarus Recoil can go sit himself down. Here's Nigel Prison uh, for his third at bat of the day. Uh, he hasn't had a hit yet today. But uh, based on the fact that pretty much everybody's getting hits and multi-base jobs at that, let's just say that he'll, he'll probably hit this one out of the park in a moment. Although that would rather depend on Tulip actually being on target. There you go. Failure, 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 failure. Oh, no, no, no. Do you see, I may have mentioned that uh, I was anticipating... Oh, crumbs. Oh, dear. We've not been thumped like this in a very long time. Um, and uh, I don't know if, uh, if we can come back from this. Well, based on the way that we're playing so far, no, we can't. Um, but we, we need to. I need a I need a talisman not on the team. Your team is nothing but talismans. Yeah, that one's got a Cindy. She's got it. All right, okay. Oh dear, we're down by eight in the fourth inning. Now we've been up by this much in the fourth inning, but uh, not down by this much. His failure for his second at bat. Oh, dear me. Uh, he's gone as well. Just uh, just didn't get anything on that one. A little bit more... That wasn't failure. Was it not? No. Who was it? Someone else. Surely you'd recognise it. No, you swung at rubbish there. Um, uh, yeah, no. Okay, well, whoever it was, they were rubbish too. Uh, his uh, is Furious. One of the only people to get on base for us so far. If not the only person to get on base. He's not going to do it this time, though, is he? No. Flipping recalls picked him off again. Um... As to be said, it looks like Bulldo's power may have been on tilt in uh, in that uh, that particular inning. So uh, we need to dig deep here and uh, and try and find some some defence because uh, uh, otherwise it's oh, it's shocking. It's shocking, and the, and the Bulldo's are faithful are just going to be going. Oh, what am I watching here? I mean, we brought crampons in. That's. That's the sort of thing that should work for us, but it, it really, really isn't. Uh, we're giving up everything here. No, we're, we're selling the family china. Steve's got that. There you go. Well done, Steve. Uh, it's Brad Commissar. Uh, one of the few players who haven't had a hit yet today. 
Maybe this time, Brad. Maybe this time. Okay, we're right. We've got one there. That's solid. Um, Florenz Bastille. He's had one hit, but it was a triple. Uh, <laughs> if you're going to hit it, yeah, I'll go for three bases. Solid. Uh, Zoltan! Sliding catch from Zoltan Zoltan there. And, uh, and a rare inning where we didn't give up a run. Here is the man himself. He's uh, is looking in tippity top shape. Is he? I don't know. Ah, strike one. You don't get a cleaner pitch than that, but we've decided to wait some out. Zoltan managing to squeak one through there to right field, and he'll get on base. Yay! Yay indeed. Here's Steve Morrie. He's feeling tense. Stop feeling tense, Steve. Feel home runnish. That's what I want you to feel. It's ball one, Steve Murray. He's uh, in a moment. Well, well, no, no, Steve, 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 swing. Don't swing. Don't uh, don't be half-hearted about it. It's got some distance, but not enough. Nope. There you are. Steve's gone. All right. One out now. Runner on first. And uh, we need something out of this. His papal event horizon. He, he didn't do anything last time. But, that's, uh, but he's not alone in that particular rowing boat. No. That's uh, ball one. That's ball two. Paper of memorizing. That's uh, strike one. If you say so. I don't think it was. Paypal event horizon. Is out. Okay. All right. No. no. Between the fielding and the fielding, um, uh, both teams, it's a, it's a tale of two teams. And uh, one of them is rubbish. Crampons. Sort of. Yeah, if he moves his Zimmer frame a little bit faster, he might have got there on time. But, uh, no. Well, with five innings away, Bulldozer Power still yet to score. We're not bothered about their score anymore. I'd just quite like to get a run, please. And Santa, I've been a good boy, largely. Tulip to McGurk. All right. Okay, there's one. That's more like it. That's that's the kind of fielding that we like to see. Here's Jesse Flail. He's had a home run and a double, and he's batted a run in, and he's he's done it all. Everything that could conceivably have been done, apart from being warped. Give me a minute. I'll see if I can arrange that. Cindy! I knew that was coming, you see. I thought, oh, the positioning's good here. She's going to dive for this and get it. And she did. Here's Laz Recoil. And, uh, well, uh, he's, been, he's been a peril to us uh, defensively. Um, but... Uh, are we going to... No, he's, he's McGurked it. All right. Get off. All right. Well, look at that. Back-to-back -back innings where we haven't conceded a run. Uh, but in the bottom of the sixth now, we, we do need to turn something on. It's Tulip Banter. She's going to get a go. Uh, we'll, we'll see if she manages to pull anything out here. Uh, and, uh, Florence Bastille, incidentally, has only, only had to throw 37 pitches so far. Normally, by this point, we're up in the 50s. Uh, strike two. Good lad. There, Tulip. Lad, really? Yeah, everyone's a good lad, fundamentally. Uh, I don't think they are, though, are they? No, probably not. That was a slip of the slip of the tongue. Anyway, uh, Tulip there, giving it a go, but she's out. Here's Cindy. Who's out? Oh, crikey. Cindy Vapid's having a stinker, but she's not alone. Uh, there is a whiff coming off this team. Oh, it was McGurk. That's how it was last time. Same build, you see. Same build as uh, as failure. No, I was I was going to go on to something about the entire team whiffing a bit. Uh, speaking of whiffing, yeah, no, ball two, strike one, McGurk. Oh, he's got some zing on that fastball. Well, McGurk's still at the plate. That's ball three. We've got a full count finally. That one's gone foul. McGurk, if you'd left that, you might have got a walk, you know. But it's okay, you got a hit. McGurk got a hit. We had a hit here on uh, on Bulldozer Power Island. And uh, it was tremendous. Here's failure. Well, we're in the, uh, the region of the batting order that is the most likely to be able to actually do something. But that's in a normal week. This is clearly not a normal week. And failure gets on base. All right, okay. All right, okay. We've got two outs, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but it means that we really don't care about a double play at this point because it's going to make absolutely no difference. It's Furious. All right, Furious Sponge Bath. Key player on the team. Well regarded. 
Largely solid. Good moustache. Uh, that one was probably a little bit high, but he swung at it anyway. That's ball two. Strike one. Ball three. No, the pitcher can't possibly be getting tired. Oh, and Furious ruins it for everybody. And the team is out again. All right, six innings done, and it's eight to nothing. Uh, Nigel Prism, uh, who uh, we uh, we allowed to have a home run in the last inning because we were very generous in that regards. Yeah, we're a, we're a good team uh, to other teams. Crampons, thank you. One out. Here's Brock Talk. He's only had a single today. Poor guy. Oh, he's going to be feeling left out in the champagne pool party that they're going to be having later on in the wretched minstrel's locker room. Not that it's got a pool, you understand, but if it did, bubble bath. Maybe the whirlpool bath. Champagne special party. I don't know what goes on at those things, uh, but uh, I wouldn't advise it. No. No, you're certainly not going to want to drink the champagne after a bunch of sweaty ball players have been, uh, you know, frolicking in it. Frolicking, you say? All right, cleansing themselves. Uh, getting themselves post-match sharp. Uh, okay. They don't call it a match, though, do they? No, the Americans call it a game. Interesting. All right, he anticipated that. Zoltan's going out there. Zoltan, anything? Anything, Zolt? Anything? No, it landed 50 feet above your head. All right, okay, well, I mean, I guess there wasn't too much we could do about that. Helmet center bite there with a, uh, a touchdown. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're not losing eight nothing anymore. No, we're losing nine nothing now. Here's Fenella value pack, and uh, how's uh, how's Tulip looking? Tulip's not looking too terrible, but then she didn't look that great to begin with. That was going out there. Zoltan's making a move. Oh, what a catch! Oh, that's play of the game for me. Uh, it was it was moving outside his range. If we'd have done that a few more times earlier on. We'd only be trailing by, I don't know, seven. Next up to bat it is Zoltan. Uh, he's one of the few players who's actually got a hit today. And that's strike number one. Or, oh, if you'd have hit that a bit harder, Zoltan, you would have clunked him well and proper. We'd have got vengeance. Maybe that's it. Maybe it is because uh, we've, got a, we've got a downed pitcher that it has, uh, it has, it has knocked the, uh, the mood of the entire team. Uh, they're all so worried about cut. Viv! Viv! Oh, that's a double play. Well done, Steve. It's the Steve Mori play, everybody. Uh, here's Paypal Event Horizon. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's a ball. Nah, not interested. And that one? Is it, it's, it's, no, it, uh, even when they fluff the initial uh, stop there, uh, we still get nothing. And <laughs> Bulldozers of Pepper have not scored. No, that's unusual. Yeah, we usually score even even when we lose. Uh, there's usually some scoring involved in the situation. There you go, strike one. That's it. Eat that, commissar. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You or oh, you anticipated that? See if you can anticipate this one as well. Oh, you, if you anticipated it, you anticipated poorly. Poorly. There you go. Strike out. Get off my field. Okay, next up, it is Florenz Bastille. And uh, he's uh, he's had a home run today. He's going to be absolutely flipping thrilled with himself. Oh, well, okay. Papal just made a pig's ear of that. Uh, that felt like a very catchable ball, but he didn't bother. And uh, instead gave up a double. That was the pitcher, you know. Yeah, that was, that was the pitcher. That was the pitcher. That was the... It's tempting. It is tempting, but I'm not going to. No, no. Where are we? Eighth inning. Yeah. Well, look, we're only, we're definitely going to only need one more inning uh, after this one. So, uh, so you can completely ruinate your, uh, your your pitcher's mood, if you like. Yeah, it feels a bit harsh. No, it feels a bit needed. Uh, is because uh, otherwise, you'd uh, you'd just be throwing uh, throwing pitches at opposing players all the time. Failure? No, not today. All right. Go and sit down then. Uh, right, come on. Come on, Tulip. I'll, I'll tell you what, Tulip. I'm going to let you stay in for the ninth as well. 
Uh, I'm going to save my other relievers so that they actually get a breather. Because uh, we uh, we lost a starting pitcher and we, we can't keep burning our relievers out. Uh, yep. There you go. I mean, we've got Prod who can come on in the ninth. There you go. That's out. All right. Okay. The Nomads now up by nine. It's not a Minstrels. I'm well, sorry. I, 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 I incorrectly appointed them as the Minstrels. They're wretched too. Minstrels, Nomads, they're all wretched. Uh, all of them. Here's Crampons. Go on, Crampo. What can you do for us? Try one. Uh, yep. Crampons got a hit. Crampons has got a hit. Okay, well done. Crampons joins the hit club. And uh, here's Tulip. She's out. Yeah. No, I've, I've just changed my mind. Uh, we'll substitute Tulip for... Hammock. Hammock time. Okay. All right. It is uh, Veronica Hammock. And all 27 feet of her. Apart from the two at the bottom that are very, very small. That's ball three. Okay. I know that was a perfect pitch, but we'll uh, we'll see if we can get a walk. Strike two. All right. We're not going to see if we can get a walk anymore. And Veronica comes off the bench to dramatically get herself out. Oh, well. That's all right. I mean, you made a work for it. It's Cindy. Come on, Cind. What's it going to be? You haven't had a hit yet. We need, we need a hit out of you, Cindy. That's uh, one and one is the count. Cindy Rapid. Oh, dear. Uh, strike two. Oh, crumbs. No, Cindy's. No, done. No, no, wait. She managed to make it to the base. But Crampons was picked off in the process. Here's McGurk. Uh, not the kind of player to fill me with confidence, it has to be said. Uh, he, had a, he had a flash in the pan briefly in the season uh, but since that point not so much all right all right well we're making a substitution we'll bring in prod as our closer prod if you couldn't you, you know just see your way clear to getting this lot out now we've got a cindy who doesn't dive in time cindy can't even be bothered anymore she just kind of goes, oh i hate losing and you're gonna go well that's i mean that's as maybe cindy. We, none of us particularly enjoy losing uh, but at the same time, the game is just going to continue uh, ad infinitum it, unless we uh, kind of get it done with. Crampons, not even close. Zoltan, not even close. Um, all right. Okay. Not satisfied with only losing by nine. Uh, we've now, we're now losing by ten. All right. Can we concede? Uh, this is not our day. We're, we're, not, uh, we're not in the zone. That said, of course... It would mark the greatest comeback in the history of sports. 11. No, that's 11. Um, yeah, it, w it would be rather an amazing comeback, but I, <laughs> it's not even possible. It's not even remotely possible. Not the way we're playing. Furious can't be bothered. Uh, yeah, that one's gone out to Event Horizon. We're going to have to throw it to third. One out, runner on second. And, uh, and the Nomads are doing what they've been doing all game. Cheating, I reckon. Well, we did say early on that uh, that a pitching wasn't exactly on point today. It's true, it wasn't. And that was before they killed your pitcher. It's true. Here's Brad Commissar. The only player on their team who is not having a, a career day. Failure's there. And he actually catches one. All right. 11 runs down, bottom of the ninth. Here it comes. I've only had six hits today. It is Bulldozer Power. Look at him. And they're, they're chucking out Nigel Prison and bringing in Dennis Climax, but they're keeping the pitcher in. That's an ego move, that is. All right. Okay. Well, we've started well. That's a run. On Well, it's, it's a run as far as first. I mean, let's, let's not get too carried away. Uh, here's Furious. All right. This pitcher is going to be tired at this point. Uh, they will substitute him. No, he's, he's actually still got a heck of a lot of stamina left. That's inside. But uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, dear. Well, there goes the runner. And that's a double play. Furious there, getting it done where others have tried and failed. Falls to Zoltan to uh, finish the game off. And, uh, well, let's, uh, let's close the book on that one because uh, it's not a book I want to read. 
No, an awful, awful day for Bulldozer Power. Just absolutely dreadful, completely wretched. Uh, a couple of innings there, we were clearly tilted and uh, are not playing well in the slightest. Um, Vivian Crumble <laughs> gets issued the loss. Ah, oh, I feel I feel quite sorry for Vivian. Um, not entirely her fault. I mean, she was killed. Helmet Celebite is your uh, player of the day. Four of five uh, with a home run, two two base hits, and four runs batted in. <clears throat> Thorens Bastille uh, gets the second star with nine innings pitched, having only given up seven hits. They're not ever giving him credit for the fact that he got a home run and a, and a double. And then Nigel Prison. Oh, well, I was dissing Nigel Prison earlier on. <clears throat> well, while we do our best to uh, forget all about what we just saw, uh, let's catch up on the six games that will uh, will take us through the complete circuit. Uh, you've got the Red Star Pathfinders against the Steganauts. Both teams kind of 50-50 at the moment. Obviously, the Pathfinders are 4-5, and five, which you can't make that 50-50. Let's, uh, let's watch the game. Uh, the Steganauts a strong lead into the seventh, but the uh, Pathfinders try to come back, and it was for nothing. Uh, next up, uh, the Pathfinders in action again against the Sportsball Union. It is Put Mervyn Pinerider who is uh, uh, who is first up, and uh, Jack Snaggles is in there as well, who is a player I should remember that they're good for because he's done more of something than anybody else. Uh, anyway, the Sportsball Union are, are in there, and they get a win. Uh, it's only their fourth win of the season. Uh, I mean, but they're, they're, the season isn't over yet. Uh, Grazer Ridge are taking on Stardos of Human Resources. Buster Flight Risk pitching for Grazer Ridge. Vicky Love Flamboyant uh, for Stardos of Human Resources. And uh, Stardos are open the, open the scoring, but it's neck and neck all the way. Stardos are managing to come out with the win from that one. The Colonel Space Agency are taking on Colonel School. Uh, Rudy Trembles pitching for the Space Agency. Uh, with one of the one of the Hammock sisters, no, I don't know which one uh, is their uh, most notable batter. Uh, Stardos are uh, losing it there towards the end of the game. They'll be disappointed with that. Bumps and Medics are taking on the Port Migans Pirates as we uh, continue looking at games only featuring also Rans. The Medics off to a massive lead, fifteen to two for the Medics. There, uh, a dominant performance. Uh, the Sunshine Fun Bus are taking on the Erg Melonflex Chroniclers who are awful this season. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, well, what can you say that hasn't worked? All right, the Chroniclers have, have just shut the uh, the Sun Bus down eight to nothing and uh, chalk up their second win of the year in the process. Next up, we've got Bulldozer Power against the Ports, Ports Miggins Pirates. Ominous Bob is up in the pitching rotation, which is ominous. Uh, they'll be pitching with Turk Ramjet and... Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be hoping for for something to come out of that as we look at the divisional table. Uh, Bulldozer Power still out in front, uh, but their lead is now you know one and a half games, one and a half games, one and a half, two I'd say, uh, wins that is. Uh, in the wood chipper, you've got Stardozer and Colonel School up front. Just uh, a bit trailing behind them are the Nomads, who uh, who did good damage to their run difference uh, this time around. Yeah, we still... No, we don't even lead for run damage anymore. Run damage? Yeah, run run difference. I think run damage sounds quite good, though, doesn't it? I think it does, too. But uh, there we go. Uh, in the whoop-whoop, it's the Axemen ahead of Failurewood Hills. Uh, the Axemen have two games in hand, but uh, the sloganator, it is the beekeepers who are absolutely running away with it. Uh, only defeated once so far this season. I've been Colonel Failure. You are watching Electro Sports TV. If you've not yet flung a subscription at this, do so now. Do it now. Do so right now. Press the button. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.